time to cut my hair. <laughs> okay, so my hair is getting a little cray cray. It's time to cut it. So I figured I might as well film it so you guys could see how I cut my bangs. Because, you know, this has been a long journey of figuring out what is the, you know, kind of like perfect little, I don't know, perfect system to do it. And I finally found one. So I'm gonna share it with everybody because they're obviously getting too long. I would love to rock, you know, Florence vibes and just have them super long up to the side, but my hair does not want to cooperate. Okay, so what I do, starters, I just basically section it off. So obviously I have some longer pieces there. The way I like my bangs are, if you can see them, the shape already here is kind of in that V shape. That's just my preference. Some people like them like straight across. For me personally, the shape of my face, I like them in that V shape. Um, okay, I just think it's a little like more wearable. Here, let me talk to you guys up here. Put that mirror there, there we go. Okay, so I kind of try to align it with like the pupils of my eyes where I want them to end and then make sure that it is straight back that way. You can use a comb, and I actually recommend using a comb if you do not have long nails. So you can see it's like off there, so I don't need to cut that, don't need to cut that. We'll just get to that part later. So, I like to leave those long, I'll get to those later. Take like a really small little part, and and then we're just going to keep it with the shape like that. I kind of like it at my, like just below my eyebrows. So we're gonna go ahead and, so what I do is I kind of pull them forward and make sure they're taut and then bring them back to my face so I can see where they're gonna fall. So that's pretty good. If you notice, this part, I'm holding it really tightly down, but then like this part of my finger, I'm not holding it that, like um, tight down like not on purpose so what I would do is I would separate them because you don't want to cut them like this because then this part's going to come out uneven so let me split it down the middle do it this way um I want yeah. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end it <laughs> I have nothing else to say to that all right let me see so also I like to cut it at like this angle, so the angle that I'm going. And I'm just gonna oh, oh. I didn't put anything below me, so this is pretty uh it's gonna be a little messy. There we go. And my my bangs right now are super um like dirty <laughs> because I've not dirty so it's what am I trying to say here um so they're like really kind of greasy and and just like really sticking to my face so that's good so yeah so now if I pull them back down together like this you can see they're not even that size is a little too long there so we're gonna go ahead and get that little bit and a good tip is to try to cut like as high up as you can because then what will happen is you kind of make it it looks more natural than if you just do like a jagged cut like oh my god I actually got some hair on that one if you just do like a jagged cut and we're just gonna bring this part up but again, I like my um, bangs to be kind of fluffy looking, um, but some people really like that like hard edge bang. I know that's a that's definitely a trend. So for the, some reason, this these ones I can definitely get like the whole thing like tight. So I'm just gonna cut them like this. Bring them back down here, and I like to have the top layers like a little longer for some reason. I feel like it just helps my bangs. Um, way lay down a little nicer because if I cut them evenly then what's going to happen is they're just going to kind of have this like poof because they 
like if you think about it, they're going to be like angled, like coming up. Do you know what I mean? Like if you put layer on top of layer and then the next layer is shorter and shorter and shorter, it's going to like create this little angle. All right, well, you don't have to get it. Just know that cut the next layer a little longer. I didn't go to beauty school here, guys. This is just what I do when I'm at home because I'm too lazy to go to a salon. And also, I just moved here, so I don't even have a salon. Like, you know, I don't have a, a girl that I like go to do my hair or a guy that I go get my hair done with. It's a big commitment. I'm always honestly the type of person that's like, as soon as I step into your chair, it's like, I'm your client. I feel so bad. Um, like not coming back to the same person. Like obviously unless they did like a super awful job. Once I start talking to them and like starting to get to know their life and everything and just who they are, it's like, I just like, I just get really connected to people. <laughs> so that leads to sometimes me staying in places that I don't want to stay. Do you guys like that? Or do you have like no problem being like, yeah, I didn't like the way that person serviced me, so I'm gonna go somewhere else. I get trapped, I get sucked in. So we're, I'm seeing a pattern here. And the pattern is, is that my left side is clearly a lot longer. Weird, I wonder why that's happening. We're gonna fix it, no worries. No worries. I'm gonna get this. But yeah, back in fifth grade, I got bangs and my hair, if you guys haven't seen in any of my other videos, naturally is like super curly and just a disaster. Ooh. Um, but yeah, so when I got bangs originally when I was in fifth grade, it was such a pain in the butt to keep up with them. And I told myself, I'm like, I'm never going to get bangs again. It was the worst experience ever because if you have curly hair and you get bangs and you don't know how to take care of your curly hair and you don't straighten it all the time or like, you know, take care of your curls, What's going to happen is you're going to have like this little poof on the top of your head at all times. And then this is kind of like my second layer of bangs. So let me just get a little less here. This part's kind of hard to gauge for me. I might have to go bring a comb. Mm. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see it's like slanted here, like straight here. Let's make that even. Okay. That looks pretty even to me. <laughs> what if I like take that out? Get that out of there. Get that out of there. It's a pretty straight line. Alright. I'm just gonna get it all. Attack of the bang. Who else here has had any uh, hair regrets in their lifetime? Anyone? Anyone? Just me? Just me? Can't be just me. I know I'm not alone here. Who else has gone to the salon and, re salon and regretted everything? Get out of there. But yeah. You know who else I love to watch them do their hair? Jenna Marbles. Cause she'll just go and she'll just like, ooh, that was, see, that was a jagged chuck. A chuck. I didn't like that. Didn't like that. I'm just gonna cut angrily now. I'm just gonna get it all. <sighs> I really wish I would put something down. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, oh. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.